Subscribe our channel and stay up to date about optometry. What is convergence insufficiency? Convergence insufficiency is a condition in which there are 1. Greater exophoria at near than distance. The difference between near and distance exophoria is more than 6 to 8 prism diopters. 2. A receded near point of convergence, greater than 8 to 10 centimeters. 3. Reduced positive fusional vergence, both direct PFV, that is performed by base eye prism, and indirect PFV, that is performed by plus lens. 4. A low AC error ratio, less than 1 isto 3. Among all non strabismic binocular vision problems, convergence insufficiency is the most common. In different studies, it is found that prevalence of convergence insufficiency is 3% to 8%. Symptoms of convergence insufficiency Most symptoms are associated with reading or other close work. Common complaints include Eye strain and headaches after short periods of reading. Blurred vision. Diplopia. Sleepiness. Difficulty concentrating. Loss of comprehension over time. A pulling sensation. And. Movement of the print. Some patients with convergence insufficiency are asymptomatic due to. Suppression. Avoidance of near visual tasks. A high pain threshold. Occlusion of one eye when reading. As a practitioner, we must rule out these reasons why patient with convergence insufficiency doesn't have any symptoms. Convergence Insufficiency Symptom Survey, CISS, is the first standardized instrument that has been shown to be valid and reliable for measuring the type and frequency of symptoms before and after treatment for patients with convergence insufficiency. Convergence Insufficiency Symptom Survey, CISS. The CISS allows a two-factor analysis of symptoms of CI. First, whether the symptom is present, and second, how frequently it occurs. The questionnaire consists of 15 items. A patient chooses one of five possible answers, never equals zero, infrequently equals one, sometimes equals two, fairly often equals three, always equals four. Each answer is scored from zero to four with four representing the highest frequency of symptom occurrence. The CISS score, with the lowest possible score being zero that indicate patient is totally asymptomatic and the highest possible score being 60 that indicate patient is most symptomatic. For children aged 9 to 17 years a symptom score of 16 or higher on the CISS has been found to differentiate those with symptomatic convergence insufficiency from those with normal binocular vision. For adults 18 and older, a symptom score of 21 or higher on the CISS has been found to be significant. Question 1. In convergence insufficiency, the positive fusional vergence is generally A. Increase B. Decrease C. Normal D. Both A and B Question 2. If in binocular accommodation facility test, patient is facing difficulty in clearing plus lens, but in monocular facility test patient is not facing difficulty in clearing plus lens, then what is the diagnosis? A. Accommodation excess. B. Convergence excess. C. Convergence insufficiency. D. Both A and C. In part 2, we will discuss about clinical features of convergence insufficiency. Till then stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly.